Once upon a time, a long time ago, a man took off his jacket and put on a sweater. Then he took off his shoes, his dress shoes, and put on a pair of sneakers. This man was Fred Rogers. His children's program, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, would run 865 times for a stretch of 31 years. Winning multiple Emmys, it would become the longest running children's show ever. And Fred Rogers taught us many things in his life's work. Here are a few key lessons he imparted. How to meet people on a human level. How to receive what others wish to give you. And how to find compassion for others. So who was Fred Rogers? He was actually a lonely kid, an only child until he was 11 years old when his sister came along. He was bullied. They used to say, here comes Fat Freddy. So mean. He was sick. He had rheumatic fever. He had asthma. He was not allowed to play outside by himself. His parents and the family doctor pitched in together to buy what Fred loved to say was Latrobe's first room air conditioning to help with his breathing problems. One story that stood out for me about Fred Rogers was when a group of ophthalmologists, doctors who care for the eyes, came to Mr. Rogers for help with calming frightened children who came to them for treatment. They wanted to publish advice that would help other ophthalmologists put children at ease as well. And Mr. Rogers said he would write a book chapter for them, understanding that going to the eye doctor can feel very frightening for a child. So he asked one of the people on his staff to write the first draft. But when Fred Rogers saw it, he knew this first draft needed, he knew he needed to take the reins. So he began it again with the simple words, you were a child once too. These humble words spoke to the doctors in a confidential one-on-one -on -one voice. See, Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, had a natural ability to reach people directly, meeting them on a human level, as the story shows. He did this in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood as well as in his life as a whole. Fred Rogers also shares lessons on receiving with grace and dignity. It's so very hard receiving, he said. When you give something, you're in much greater control, but when you receive something, you're so vulnerable. I think the greatest gift you can ever give is an honest receiving of what a person has to offer, Fred Rogers said. In his wallet, he carried a quote he heard from a social worker. Frankly, there isn't anyone you couldn't learn to love once you've heard their story. Like Mr. Rogers, those of us who lead teams will grow as leaders when we approach people with compassion. When we speak directly, strive to genuinely understand where they're coming from and receive their gifts with gratitude. We will grow powerful connections that allow us all to achieve more together and we'll be happier in doing so. So take the inspiration from Fred Rogers and learn how you can be more of a receiver of others and vulnerable and compassionate to others. Ladies and gentlemen, the best neighbor any of us has ever had Fred Rogers. For giving generation upon generation of children confidence in themselves, for being their friend, for telling them again and again and again that they are special and that they have worth. It is my honor on behalf of everyone here and on behalf of the millions of children whose mornings you have brightened with your kindness to present you with this Lifetime Achievement Award. It's a beautiful night in this neighborhood. Uh, uh, so many people have helped me to come to this night. 
Some of you are here, some are far away, some are even in heaven. All of us have special ones who have loved us into being. Would you just take, along with me, 10 seconds to think of the people who have helped you become who you are. Those who have cared about you and wanted what was best for you in life. 10 seconds of silence. I'll watch the time. whomever you've been thinking about, how pleased they must be to know the difference you feel they've made. You know, they're the kind of people television does well to offer our world. Special thanks to my family and friends and to my coworkers in public broadcasting, family communications, and this academy for encouraging me allowing me all these years to be your neighbor. May God be with you. Thank you very much.